Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to your weekly love forecast for September 1st to the 7th. Hi, my name is Jennifer from JenniferWalkerZen.com. We're going to be going over your day to day and then we're going to look at your uh, love interest feelings. So we're going to look at the block shillings and challenges and then we're going to look at the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue it this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. All right, so let me switch up cameras here, Sagittarius. And also, I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. If you would like to become a member, all you have to do is click the join button below. All right, so what is going on my Sagittarius here for my Ansic Love Life for September 1st to 7th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so this is going to be for sun, moon, and rising signs. So feel free to cross watch for more information. And this is going to be our day today. We're going to start off that first Sagittarius. And feel free to take notes, come back, check this out, and let me know how it played out in your individual situations in the comments below. Also, guys, I have a free reading contest going on. All of the details will be at the end of this video. Stick with me till the end. Personal readings, my personal readings, we open up in September. So yes, uh, I will have them open very, very soon. Okay, so September 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th. Then we're gonna look at your love interest feelings, then the blockages, then the overall outcome. <laughs> All right, so let's jump right into the first card. All right, so we got the three of wands energy. So it looks like on the first day of September, there seems to be waiting around for the perfect opportunity. Uh, it does look like there is a path there for success though. I see that. Okay. Um, yeah, so let's keep going. All right. I also like to clarify with the Lenormand. So let's just do, the, do that now. Sagittarius is romantic love life, September 1st and 7th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, why is there waiting around? There's waiting around for this opportunity because of something to do with a house something to do with family or something to do with something stable here. So waiting for this house, this home, waiting for house and family, waiting for a stable situation. Okay, let's get more clarity on this. Also using the ISN, and by the way, it is on amazon.com. I just, I've been waiting for them to put the inventory up there for you guys to um, have available. And sometimes it can take up to, uh, they say, quite a few days. So just give it a little bit more time. You can check back. All right. So Sagittarius is romantic love life, September 1st. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. Okay. Oh, my goodness. So we got chemistry and passion going on. So let's take a look at this as a whole. So it looks like you're waiting for the right opportunity or waiting for your ships to come in here because it's something to do with house and family and this attraction, chemistry and passion. Okay, so we see, let's go to the next day here. King, uh, Knight of Wands energy. Obviously there is a lot of passion here with this Knight of Wands energy and then the day before we uh, obviously see there's attraction here. Okay, there is chemistry and passion. Okay, we got another day of chemistry and passion, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Okay. And you're at a crossroads because you have to make some kind of choice here on this day. That's on September 2nd. Oh, wow. So we got the soulmate connection card. So I'm going to go through all three cards. So first, let's go to the next day here. Uh, Page of Pentacles is telling me there is potential for a long-term commitment or you receive really good news on this day. Something long-term there, the Page of Pentacles energy. The Bear card can tell me there's someone gains the strength or control and it really makes you happy here on this day. Okay, so let's go through this. So it looks like there's somebody you're very attracted to. You have chemistry with them. This one seems to be a soulmate connection. There's a definitely a deeper connection here than what you realize. And this is really making you happy, this connection. Going further on this, we see that there's a stable situation or something with um, close to home or house and family and an indecision about taking control of this or a lack of strength or courage. We see that there is this waiting for the perfect opportunity because of actions or the sense of, I don't know if I can commit here with the Knight of Wands energy or 
you guys have uh, two different people to choose from because also the soulmate card can represent like the two of cups, a choice that has to be made with the heart. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. For others of you, there's a waiting around because of this lack of commitment or this a uh, lot of chemistry and passion. So there's a lot of actions being taken towards chemistry and passion, but there's, there is a huge potential here for a long-term commitment with the Page of Pentacles energy. But a choice needs to be made and it's like you have to find that strength and courage to make the choice that's going to make you happy here. Because it seems like the strength or courage seems to be, for some of you, when you see the family card, we see that the bear card is there, right? So bears represent a nurturing energy in some instances and controlling in others and or a lack of strength in others. So we see there's something to do with good news, right, about something long term. And the bear card could be saying, yes, I'm trying to find that courage and strength to be happy to go forward with this. Okay. But don't worry, I'm going to sum everything up here. Let's also see what's going on at the bottom of the deck here. Okay, so we got the hangman energy. So it looks like something needs to be sacrificed or there's a stuck energy. And let's go to the next card here because of chemistry and passion or needing to be wise in your decision making when it comes to chemistry and passion because, yeah, lack of strength. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's go to, uh, actually, let's use this deck and see what don't you know that you need to know coming up this week. What does Sagittarius, what does Sagittarius need to know for this week that they don't know? So they're saying you need to take some time out to really think about things. Get, be patient with yourself so you can gain knowledge and tune into your intuition here. That's what I feel like, okay? So let's go into the next day. Ah, that it makes sense now. Look at that seven of cups energy. It looks like you're examining your options, your choices, and you're confused about what you want here. You're looking at each cup and you're just like, okay, this one looks good, but then this one doesn't look good. And this option looks good, but this option doesn't look good. So there seems to be some, some sense of illusion or confusion about what you want here. We do see there's one cup there. It does have a heart. So, and it's because of a lot of emotions are at play. Coming back to your advice card, it's saying, take the time to relax, to tune into your intuition, okay, and give yourself that internal work here to gain the knowledge because this person's reading a book. Through this relaxation, you're going to get the answers that you need. Okay, going further. So there's communication. So you're gonna have heart-to-heart -heart conversations about the sense of confusion when it comes to emotions on this day, and that is on the fourth. Okay, going further. Oh my goodness, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. There is love and romance. Oh, on the fifth, love and romance. Oh my goodness, yes. Let me go to that day. Let's see what's going on here. Yes, there's a commitment to love and romance on this day. Mm-hmm. And yes, it does feel like a very deep connection for you on this day. Okay, very good day. Let me go to that day. And we got quite a few good days so far. Okay, so on the sixth, it looks like friendship, celebration, hanging out, a sense of joy with the Three of Cups energy. Hmm. Well, there could be a friend infringement upon friends that's causing some kind of deceptions or we see there's Three Cups here, more than one choice or option. Someone's not being honest about that when it comes to romantic feelings. Hmm. I can't wait to see what your overall outcome is going to be considering what that says there. Okay. And then we see the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor. Luck is on your side. Things are moving in your favor. Okay, on the 7th. And we see this new situation, child card energy, and going out, having fun, socializing, interacting with others. Okay, let's sum this up. We're going to move on to the person's feelings after this and then look at the blockages and then bring everything together with the overall outcome. So there is somebody you're very... Uh, you have a lot of chemistry and passion with. This week it seems like possibly even... Uh, passion exercises could take place, okay, with this soulmate connection or a choice that has to be made with the heart towards happiness. There's a communication that's going to take place, heart to heart conversation with this person. It seems like it's very spiritual in nature and there is romantic feelings and a want to socialize or there could be an infringe upon other people, friends or family, or you're looking at more than one choice or option with the socializing card. Going further. Okay, so it's like, is there something stable here? I'm indecisive about courage and strength when it comes to my feelings and this commitment. 
I don't know if they're being honest with what comes this new situation, child card energy, or something to do with house and family and emotions because of something to do with a child or a fresh start or new opportunity. And what's this dishonesty about? Indecisions about emotions, someone's not telling the truth. There is a strength or courage or lack of strength when it comes to emotions because of a commitment engagement in marriage or not wanting to repeat patterns. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, waiting for the right opportunity because of a lack of commitment when it comes to a potential long-term commitment because there seems to be this confusion and wanting to be wise in the decision-making when it comes to love and romance. Um, due to love and joy and celebration, things are moving in your favor or you have more than one choice or option when it comes to love for some of you and you're having an awareness things are moving in your favor. So it's like you're trying, having a lot of options here. You see Seven of Cups is telling you you have a lot of options here when it comes to, and I feel like love here. And there is, for some of you, there's two different choices. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, or also see the energy of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. And also you see three, three here and three here. So for some of you, yes, there's a couple of different choices here. And you have luck on your side. You have things in your favor. There is divine timing here, okay? When it, and there is someone here that's really a potential for a long-term commitment there with the Page of Pentacles energy. Let's look at the, uh, the numbers of this. A creative solution or looking at more than one choice or option when it comes to an action towards passion. There's potential for a long-term commitment and a lot of analyzing about what's the wisest choice when it comes to love. More than one choice or option, things are moving in your favor. Luck is on your side. All right, so considering all that, let's find out what's going on with the overall outcome. But first, we're going to look at your love interest feelings. All right, so we got the Empress card energy. This person definitely finds you very attractive. Uh, for some of you, they may want to start a family with you, and they want this very quickly. They want to communicate this with you. Um, we see that this person wants you to make some kind of choice here with the Two of Pentacles energy. So it's like this back and forth. They feel like they're going back and forth here about this situation. And they want to communicate. They want to take care of you. They have a sense of they want love and abundance. I feel like this person definitely finds you very attractive. Just just takes that time to just enjoy themselves with you. They just sp enjoy spending time with you. That's what I feel like. You make this person very happy with the Sun card energy. But they are confused here about movement, travel, or change when it comes to this choice. This person's trying to be patient because they feel like you're worth investing time in. And this person's at a crossroads. They're confused, confusion about why this thing can't move quickly. And you really shocked and surprised them because of this choice towards movement, travel, or change. So their confusion about movement. They want to reveal what's going on with this confusion for some kind of movement in this connection. Eight of Wands can talk about movement in making a choice, a heavy choice, Two of Pentacles energy, because what is Two of Pentacles? It's, it's a long-term commitment, it's money, it's family, it's long-term commitment, so it's anything serious. They want to make a choice with you. They don't, they're looking at something serious here. Okay. So now let's move into the Block Chilean Challenge for this week. Something needs to end, stop, or complete. You're lacking a little bit of hope here with the star card energy. Or you're wondering if you can fulfill your desires here. Okay, let's keep going. There's some delays here. The delays is because ending of hope or wishing and hoping to end, stop, or complete challenges. So, now let's move on to your overall outcome, Sagittarius. Let's take a look at this. Oh my goodness. So, we got this King of Cups guy coming out, right? We got this King of Cups guy. And we got the Devil card energy. And we have the Ace of Pentacles energy. And we have the Emperor card energy. Okay, let's do a line of five for this. And we have the Eight of Swords energy. So we can see that the overall outcome is saying you have some huge potential here. 
it seems like there is love here, but it seems like there is some kind of procrastination or strong desires to open up the door to a potential long-term commitment. It feels like there's some kind of lack of control and someone who feels like their hands are tied, like they're stuck in the situation. And the central theme of what's going on here for the overall outcome is this huge offer happening for you guys. But it's like this procrastination and taking control and feeling like you're stuck when it comes to a wise decision, when it comes to love and romance with the King of Cups energy. We see complete happiness. Someone is missing you. They have strong desires, strong attachments. There seems to be confusion about this potential offer, Ace of Cups energy. And then there's the money card, possibly for some of you because this may be a work-related situation. And there may also be another person involved, which is making someone feel like their hands are tied. Going further on this, something really surprising about this, because of a person, causes some hurt and pain or arguments and disputes when it comes to burdens and challenges of love. Oh my goodness. So you have all this stuff going on this week. Jesus. Okay, so guys, you know I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much. And wow, that seems like a lot of stuff going on. Very rare reading for sure. And I love you guys so much. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Yes, I want to hear from you in the comments below. You guys like to hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. The next reading, which could give you a lot of information, is your monthlies, which is love, career and finance, and health and wellness. Or we guys, we can do like how your love interest truly feels about you. Let me know in the comments below which one you want me to do next. Um, also, um, for the free reading contest, you guys, all you have to do is put love in the comments below. I'm picking two people for a free person reading, and I'll be making that announcement tomorrow. So this is the last chance you guys can get in on that. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you soon.